everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be filming another mega movie marathon mix surprise bag video. We don't know what this is called anymore. Anyway, so today I have, I did a adding to my movie bag collection but I haven't put them in yet. Um, but I still have, let me just look, one, two, three, four, five, five left in the bag, if you can see. And so last time, one time, I filmed a video where me and Josh watched one of the movies, we unwrapped it and opened it. And so I wanted to do it again because it's fun because I like getting other people's opinions and I don't remember what's in the bag. And I think there's going to be some things that he probably won't want to watch. So I think it's kind of funny. So yeah, I'm going to get him to pick and open it so that if it, he doesn't like it, it's not my fault. And that's just funny. Um... Yeah, so Mega Movie Marathon Mix. If you don't know what this is, basically I've wrapped up loads of movies in January and now I'm opening them up and watching them and I don't remember what they are, but we will see. Okay, so here's our five movies. Pick a movie. It's all down to you. We don't know what any of them are. You take them out of the bag as well. You just spread them out. <laughs> okay, I know what it is. It's a Hitchcock movie. It's a man who knew too much. He's so excited. Have you watched? You've watched. What have you watched? Have you watched any Hitchcock movies? You watched Psycho. Yeah. Okay. Have you watched Catch a Thief? No. Have you watched um um what's that really famous one that I watched? North by Northwest. Okay. Well, anyway, here we are. The man who knew too much. How long is this film? It's because it's got James Stewart in. I like James Stewart because my favourite Hitchcock movie is Rear Window, which is a bit of a I don't know why I'm trying to look. How long is the movie? Just wanted to know. One hour, 55 minutes. Ooh, okay. So now we only have four left in the bag. Well, I think when there's three, I'm going to put the other 16 in. Obviously, they won't really fit in this bag, but we'll see. Okay, guys, so we are back. We watched The Man Who Knew Too Much, which is probably my fourth Hitchcock movie. Um... And, mm, you know, this one, I love James Stewart, actually, and in this movie he was funny, and I liked it. But I'm going to tell you, this is how we, there was actually a moment in the movie, which actually was one of the best bits of the movie, but not much talking about it, so we were able to discuss the movie during the movie. And what I said was, right, so you know when you go, this is exactly how I feel about the movie, it's the best way I can describe it to you. You go to a restaurant, or, I don't know, you go to a restaurant, yeah, and you're going to order something to eat, they give you the menu, you get the menu, and for some reason you pick up, well, that's what I do, I'm sure other people do it too, though, right, so you pick up the menu, and you look at the menu for, like, a minute, and then you realise at this minute that you haven't actually read anything on the menu, you're just, like, staring at the menu, thinking you're looking at the menu. During the film, I felt like I kept was looking, watching the film, and kept forgetting that I was supposed to be watching the film, um, which is weird, I don't know, maybe it was just my, it's kind of late, I suppose. What time is it? Half eleven, twenty past eleven. Yes, it's kind of it's quite a long film. It's two hours long. It's really, really dialogue heavy. But I just I don't know. I don't know what I thought about it. To be honest. But the last forty minutes I liked. The beginning I didn't mind. The middle though, I was just like, what is what is this middle bit? So the middle was just a bit. Uh, um, yeah, James Stewart was funny. Uh, what's her name? Doris Day. She was okay. The kid was funny, but he was hardly ever in it. Um, I don't know if that's a spoiler, it doesn't really matter. But my, my favourite bit I can't tell you because it would ruin the movie. So overall I think I'd give the movie a 3, however I would give the last 40 minutes higher but I don't think I can give it, but I think it was just kind of, I didn't pay enough attention so some bits I got lost. I was like, who is this? It was a lot of characters. It was kind of like reading an Agatha Christie book, if you weren't paying enough attention you'd just be lost. So yeah, now let's see what Josh thought. Now I don't think he really was a big fan of the movie, but we'll see, we'll see. What did you think of the movie then? <laughs> uh, yeah. We want more in-depth thoughts. <laughs> That's was, not good. It, it was okay. Just it was too slow. Yeah, you did a bit, a bit slow. Drop but it was drop. funny though. I mean, I know you just told me I said it was funny like four times, but yeah, uh, from the entire film, only two lines I can remember were, as you said, it's dialogue heavy. But the two things that stuck in my head was when the kids said. Does that mean she's got to be fed intravenously? Yeah, but that's and then, a bit yeah. PC though. <laughs> um, the other bit was doing the embassy, and I just came across with, what? Does that mean they can steal a lot of kids and get away with it? What's with that? Yeah, that was really funny. James, we were laughing at that for ages. Yeah, that was good. What but, about the, without telling everybody what happens, what about the end? Mm, well, you could see it happening, but... It annoyed me more than anything. 
because without oh without trying to get like destroy the thing it, it dawdle it dawdled it dawdled <laughs> yeah is that a word <laughs> <laughs> okay what would you give out of five two two it best that's so mean <laughs> it was for, for for something in the 1950s it was okay I mean, it could have done with a then few again, more. we've seen better. When did Rear Window come out? I know I keep going on about Rear I think Rear Window came out maybe two years later or, two, or something like that. Yeah. As I was watching the film, it just seemed like one of those really bad Sunday afternoon films and I was just waiting for the ITV adverts. That's so mean. You laughed at the film at some points. you got yeah. to give it that. It's got some funny lines in it, but... Anyway. Only because they're just so un PC at the moment, it's great. Okay guys, so I think that's pretty much it for this mega movie marathon mix surprise bag video. I really need to decide what I'm going to call these videos. I think they already had a name, but I want to change it because I think I didn't like the name. Well, it was an okay name. Anyway, so we watched, like I said, I told you 59 minute times, The Man Who Knew Too Much. And the reason it is in this mega movie marathon surprise bag mix is because I thought it was kind of like a... A Hitchcock movie I hadn't really heard many people talking about so I'm still glad that I watched it because like I say I hear people talking about quite a few of the popular ones like you know Psycho and Rear Window and North by North West Strange Land Train, Dial for Murder, The Birds, you know a bunch of those ones I never really heard much about this one so I wanted to give it a watch and I'm still glad I did but I don't really think I'll watch it again anytime soon. I might actually make my mum watch it and see what she thinks about it. Um, sometimes I do that if I'm a bit like what do I think about this movie I make her watch it and see what she thinks about it. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you have seen this movie. And we will be filming another mega movie marathon super surprise bag mix um, soon. Because I have a bunch of other movies to put in the bag. Which I filmed a video of which I'll link down below. Um, because it's fun. Because it's like a little haul update thing. Um, yeah, until then guys, I'll see you next time. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of this movie. If you've seen it, what's your favourite Hitchcock movie? You might as well let me know down in the comments below. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.